Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Epos H6 Pro Open Back Gaming Headset. This is a Serving Black Edition, which as you can see is blue. This is an unboxing and review video. I'm going to be talking to you about my experiences with H6 Pro Open. It's worth noting that I've already reviewed the H6 Pro Closed Back Edition, and this might look like the same headset, but it is actually very slightly different, offering up an open audio soundscape and a slightly lighter weight at 309 grams versus the 322 grams of the H6 Pro Closed. Now this is a headset that's designed to work with PC, Mac, PS4, PlayStation, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, Nintendo Switch and others and I've been using it on PC for testing purposes and I'm using the microphone from the headset now to give you a capture quality and I idea of what the audio is like from the microphone straight from the outset so you have an idea of what that's like but now I'm going to show you what's included in the box and talk to you about the various things I like and don't like about it and I'll tell you now that immediately there's a lot more things to like than there are not to it's a very comfortable headset it's very nicely designed with a really nice overall package really good fit on the head and on the ears and it's well thought out in a number of different ways as I said already Already. This is a 309 gram headset, so it's not particularly heavy. The highlights definitely include the large ear cups, which have a natural ear shape to them. You'll see they're not round and they have a sort of pattern to them that's very much fit for your ears and that's obviously very important. The headband is also very stretchy and bendable and extendable and also has a nice bit of tilt in the ear cups as well that you'll see in a second where you can essentially tilt them in and adjust them. There's a good clamping force because of all of this which makes it very comfortable to wear and an easy fit. There's a flip to mute microphone as I said, I'm using that microphone now to do the voiceover for this video. And if you give it a little bit of a boost in Windows in terms of the levels, you can get some good sound out of it. It does unfortunately pick up a bit of plosives and some mouth wind. And there's no windshield included in the box, so it might be worth purchasing an extra one. But otherwise it does do a pretty good job of picking up some good quality sound. Inside the box you'll also find two different styles of cable. One is a 2.5 meter cable with two connections designed for PC. So that is a 3.5 mil for both headset and mic connectivity. And then you have a shorter 1.4 meter cable designed to be used on console. So plug it into your controller. You'll also find two little extra covers and these are caps that are designed to go over the attachment where you'd put the microphone. So the microphone comes off with relative ease, and I'll show you the installation for that in a second. And then if you don't want to use it, you can put these caps in place of it. So you have spare cap in case you lose one of them, and then this one obviously goes over there and locks into place. Held in place with magnets, and then just a simple twist system. That's a really nice option because it means that you can essentially take the mic off and use these as headphones if you want to, if you're out and about with the device plugged into your phone, for example, or using it for some other purpose, then obviously you can just turn it into headphones. And they're quite understated. This is not your usual gaming headset. There's no RGB lighting on it. There's no Larry logos or anything. It's got quite an understated design to it. And yet a very solid build quality and superb sound and comfort. Some very nice cushioned ear cups. I'm going to leave all the specs in the description on the various parts of this, by the way, as well, so it's worth checking that out. But as you'll see, there are removable ear cups and a nice large size. They're not overly deep, but they are comfortable enough to cover the ear and with the clamping force it does do a good job of blocking out external noise. Now this is an open back headset so it doesn't block out as much noise as the closed back variant, it's worth bearing that in mind. However, this does block out more external noise than a lot of other open back headsets that I've tried which means it's a good sort of balance between the two, giving you that open soundscape for a natural sound from games and music and movies, but also still keeping out a lot of external background noise, and yet still letting you hear yourself when you're talking. So there's no mic monitoring as standard, but it does still allow you to hear yourself just simply because of the design. Close up look at the design, you'll see nice and solid build parts all over the place, bits of metal in the right place, and no nice overall finish to it. As I said, this is the black variant. You can also get it in white 
or green so there are different color choices you'll notice that this is called black but it's actually dark blue in various places and then black in others it has a very solid comfortable padding on the top the ear cushioning is very nice as well and a close-up look at that you'll also see just the way that the ear cups tilt inwards these are the two cables that I mentioned earlier you'll notice there's slightly braiding on both of them this has one downside that in the, if it rubs on your clothing you do hear it a little bit in the ear cups but it's nice to have removable cables that you can obviously swap between depending on what you're planning on doing so for the most part I've been using this one which is a nice long cable for PC at 2.5 meters is pretty decent length gives a nice bit of length to plug in if you have two connections separately for mic and headset audio a look at the ear cups and you'll see there's just nice sort of cushioning there and really comfortable to wear they're not faux leather they're a material finish and so you don't end up with overly hot ears by the end of the day and it's really easy to wear this headset throughout the day and into the night and i've been doing that quite a bit listening to music while working and then going into the night video editing playing games you have a really easy adjustment wheel for your volume control on the ear cup there so it's really simple one side is the ear cup the other side's for the microphone obviously as i said you can pop that cover off and put the microphone in place if you wish and that mic is held in place with a really simple magnet system and clip system same sort of logic it's flip to mute though so when you want to mute it you just flip it up and it clicks however as i said there's no side tone so you don't hear yourself through the microphone and there's also no sort of audible cue or sort of indicator on the mic that it is muted so you do have to be aware of it being flipped up and going past that point where it clicks or just completely remove it if you don't want it to be picking up sound so a very nice headset set up in a number of different ways now that open sound I found to be very good it's got 42 mil drivers so reasonably large but not the largest I've seen I've seen up to 100 mil with the Odyssey Penrose and Mobius and you usually see a 40 or 50 mil on various different gaming headsets but this goes up to 20,000 Hertz frequency response and delivers some really good sound I found it to be quite naturally sounding really good bass to it decent bass and yet sometimes it might feel a bit hollow but for gaming sessions it's delivered a good positional audio and a good overall comfort and uh, open soundscape which can feel a bit hollow at times but if you're looking for an open back headset then that's the sort of soundscape you'd expect from this and so overall a really good setup and a very nice headset with a nice aesthetic good comfort and a lot more besides this has been the provoke prawn hope you found this video useful be sure to check out the link to the close back review in the description and all the specs and other information you need thanks for watching this has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious, or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.